Hi there, my name is Mandy and I change lives and play dress up for a living. Today I have a tip for you that is not only going to decrease your carbon footprint and make you more sustainable, but it's also going to jazz up your mail. So what I'm going to show you is how to reuse magazine pages into sweet envelopes. I have a note card that I would send to a friend. Often these do come with envelopes, but they're pretty boring, so save them for something like rent or bills. Any mail that's not bills is fun, but it's even more fun when you have these cool envelopes. So then the other thing you need is a magazine page and tape and possibly scissors. So I am going to now move the camera down in my high-tech studio with my cameraman. So you're mostly going to be seeing my hands and my lap area, so I apologize if that's not exciting, but that's going to make it a lot easier for me to explain how to do this. So you're going to pick a magazine page that has something that you like on it. I personally think it would be hilarious to receive a note card with Nicolas Cage and a crocodile on it. Um, but I could be described as pretty quirky, so you don't want to necessarily take that type of advice. You're going to flip it over so that you see the back side, and then put your card in the middle. This is not rocket science, obviously, but it might be an idea you've never thought of. Then you're going to crease it so that you can tell where the edges of the card will be when you make it into an envelope. And you're going to fold it all four sides. If you feel like you're in an art project, see now what you're going to do is look at this. That's not funny. So <laughs> you're going to move it around to see how you can get it to show more of what you want. So I want more Nicolas Cage, and really, who doesn't? <laughs> so I'm going to fold it like this. And I know I'm not going to want that much of that to show, so we'll just fold that over. And I'm a little bit serious about attention to detail, so I'm going to make sure that's straight. So that's what it'll look like on this side. This will fold over there, and the other folds can stay the same. So then you want to cut it either this way or this way so that you can fold it in. And there we go. And then you're going to go ahead and follow your fold lines. I like to hide rough edges, so you could have made it so that you use the scissors and cut that off, but I think it works just fine like this. And when I was scrambling to find tape, I grabbed double stick tape. You can also use the other kind and just tape the edge together, but I'm going to go ahead and put this piece here on top of that Oscar. Did he ever earn an Oscar? Curious. Just tape it there. The other line is here. Now, because that's flat, you could leave it like that, but I like the both sides to be the same. So I'm folding that one in as well, and repeating the taping. Like that, and you can tape down these sides as well, just a tiny piece of tape here and here. And then what you can do is go ahead and slide your card in. You want to make sure you slide it in in such a way that it, oops, you're supposed to do it this way, right? In such a way that it doesn't go so that you can see it through here. And if you have tape that's not double stick tape, you can go ahead and tape this part so that it's closed. And then we will tape this here, or you can tape the corners. Obviously, the options are endless, just like Actually, you'd want to take that edge down. I'm used to it being the other way. But then you have a cool envelope. 
So then I would write my address here, the person I'm mailing it to there. I'm sure you know how to mail a letter. And you're ready to go once you put a stamp on Nicolas Cage's face or near it. All right, so just like I said, you can pick any page in a magazine you want to jazz up your mail. The world is your oyster. And I look forward to seeing pictures of the envelopes that you make. Obviously without the addresses because you don't probably don't want to share everyone's address like that. Anyway, if there's any ideas you have for future videos, please place them in the comments below. Hit me up on other social media and make sure you have a sparkly day. Thanks!